Alrighty folks, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing Viego Jungle in around about Platinum MMR and hopefully folks will be able to learn some new tactics to go about winning your games. This should be especially good for people who are Platinum and below. But obviously if you are a high diamond player, there will be less to learn from this because the game quality will be vastly different from what you're used to. Anyway, going into the game, we're most likely going to be pathing away from our bot lane. don't really think Ezreal Twitch is going to be very useful. Also, one more thing to note is the runes that we're running today. Conqueror, Triumph, Legend, Alacrity, and Last Stand with Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight as the secondary runes. We're versing Yi also. Um, I actually haven't versed Yi as Viego yet, so that'll be interesting. I'll have to let you guys know how that goes. Anyway, I'm gonna path towards this grump here, pulling the camp as far as possible. As always. I'm gonna go E second, faster clear speed, better attack speed. Smiting the grump as soon as my blue is done so that I can pull it closer to me. Just small things for efficiency as always, folks. Pulling the grump away here. Finish up with one last auto because my jungle pet won't kill it. When you're doing these uh, multi-camps or these AoE camps, I suggest that you mainly focus the large wolf the whole time or, you know, whichever one you're doing. It's pretty much always um, you can focus the major camp or the large monster and you'll be uh, in a good position there. Same thing here with the raptor camp. There's no mid gank available, so I opted for going into two points Q. And I don't believe we're going to be getting any top gank either before level 4, so again, not needed. Potentially though, there could have been the option for a 5 camp clear, but now because we opted for this, that is no longer viable. We can still auto attack there unfortunately, folks. Also, actually one more thing to note, we didn't start with any potion this game because I want to clear faster. And, uh, sorry, not that I want to clear faster, but I want to hit my power spikes faster, and I don't particularly need it. I don't think I'm going to get invaded on my clear. That's a better way to put it. Alright, we're instantly looking for the base here, and we're going to be running one side of the map. Pardon me, someone's, uh, decided to follow my Twitch whilst I was recording. Thanks for the follow, Amy Quok. Give me quick. Not sure. Alright, we're running to bot side scuttle crap here. Don't know why uh, my bot lane are just like not moving. Don't know where the enemy bot lane are, they may be recalled. Yee's ganking top here. Actually a very late gank by you, four minutes. A little bit unexpected. Honestly. Alright, very unfortunate. I don't think my Gwen saw that early enough. But anyway, we're going to quickly kill our camp here. Oh, let's see. Maybe we're not seeing. Anyway, we've kind of jungled away the camp. Nami actually stayed a little bit longer and messed around there which also means that my bot lane get a bit more advantage. Because Yi got to that gank so late top lane, I've been able to punish him to some degree here. It's definitely not as much as what he got off the kill, but that being said, it is definitely very beneficial to get that punishment out. Just allows us to not bleed as much for what you got. We quickly do the grump here and then path towards my walls. I don't think there's any viable gank bot lane with that weight positioning. There is a viable gank top, but the issue is I'm so far away, I don't think I'm going to be able to get there. Ooh, really nice by my uh, top laner to be able to get a kill back there.
I don't see this gank mid working, but I am just gonna be here just in case. It's not working though. I suspected. I'm gonna look to start this raptor camp just hitting it there so that my jungle item starts procking on it. Slowly. We'll cancel auto attack again. I do seem to notice they cancel a couple of auto attacks on Viego still. It's uh, just a learning curve that I'm going through. He again with the top gank on 32 CS. He's not really. Um, it's not really doing that efficiently. He's only done one camp, which most likely was his, um, I'd say his wolves. Nice. If I didn't go for the flash there, he would have actually executed. Get that push fast enough, what the fuck? You should actually probably have to clear that there. No. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Got the Katarina kill. They should probably look for the bot gank here, I think, from Katarina. Okay, she wants the mid wave. That's fine, also. Definitely worthwhile to get that play, even though I did die. It's one for one. We get more gold. Katarina gets snowball potential, and we shut down you. I didn't have shut down gold. Gwen, though. Wow, well, she's playing that well. Really, really impressed with this Gwen, actually. Despite the dying to the ganks, to be playing the fights out mechanically well. Hopefully, she can get the recall here. Oops, I um, the click there. Yeah, hopefully, she can get the recall. Interesting. Where's that E going? Alright, we can see him on the actual camp there. I expect both junglers will be ignoring this uh, dragon for quite some time here. I actually think it's a pretty nice jack show game, honestly, this game, given how much uh, mixed damage they're going to deal. Full clear here and kind of top lane, also, I think. Probably gonna look to go sneak into top lane side bush. Wait for you to come. Sneak into top lane side bush. Watch for this play though. I'm gonna move over here towards the Herald. Enemy killing spree. It's completely fine. Oh no way. What is he doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go do the Herald here. As you guys can see, we're absolutely murdering this Herald right now. I'm 
take the base. Just watching top lane. Right. Quickly basing. Steel caps, I think they're the best this game. They have auto back auto part of me attack base champions for all roles. You might be on this drag, to be honest. It's not. So right here, I'm actually going to drop down to wolves and go wolves into Gromp into Scuttle Crab slash Dragon. Now, a lot of people would probably default here to the Gromp and be like looking for another full clear, or alternatively, I think a lot of people would opt for the Scuttle Crab. I don't think either of those plays are the best case scenario. Okay. good because even if they do contest this because we drop the herald it's going mid that makes it so they have to lose something either way see the herald's gonna crash mid here it's excellent it's always good when you have to make them choose between what they want to do oh shot brother what is this play okay On earth was that? It's a ward here. They saw him go in this. Shutdown gold has been collected. What do we do here? I think we base, folks. No, no, no. We go straight to use red. It's spawning. He's just dead here regardless what I do. Yeah. That's a bit of an issue. I think he's gonna walk into my jungle here. Right now I'm going to quickly counter jungle away the Seize camp. And I actually think I might be able to kill the Yeez. I think what he's going to do is try to full clear here and regen up. So if I chill in this bush, I think he's going to path into me. So let's just see what the Yee does here. 150 got shot down again also. Okay, we saw the Yee actually show bot. Stuff. I thought that you might be down there for the counter gank, but I was right in sensing that we could still win it. Oh, actually, I'm just going to base here. Got a bunch of gold to spend, folks. I'm going to base and then come back here in a second. I think Jack Show is the play. 
And I think we'll go with this one. This game, I'm looking for Jack Show into Death's Dance, and then I might actually go Frozen Hearts. I don't know if I'm going to need Magic Resist. It kind of depends on how much damage this Corky starts dealing. But Magic Resist is not like terrible in this situation, I don't think, because they do have a lot of mixed damage, regardless, just from the Cogmore. This game, eh? All right, let's pop up here. Excellent, we saved her. Got the corky coming through. An enemy has been slain. This guy is strolling with. They're not really here. the wall. Herald time. I'm gonna go Herald straight into drag here actually folks. I think you might run straight into drag but I think we're good for time. Running straight across. I'm gonna gank mid here on the way through. smart yet but everything else is kind of chill here move towards this drag why are you hitting that brother Teammates at. Now, Ezreal is alive. He has woken up. Enemy red buff is up here, actually, so I kind of want to look at that. Ezreal can complete that dragon. I go to the red buff. I want to steal some of this uh, tower gold here. Nice. The reason I wanted to steal a little bit of that gold here is just for death stance. Don't know if I actually had it there or not. I actually thought I needed more gold. I might have actually just fucked up. A lot of times people say, um, I get these two comments always about like either the game being unrealistic because um, my teammates are all winning or the game being unrealistic because I'm smurfing and I'm like 1v9ing. What do you guys think is the answer to that? Like if you guys have any answers to that, leave a comment down below because I want to obviously make it so that people uh, feel as though they're learning the most from these games. But I also understand, right, there's like probably always going to be like a divide in that in terms of like people are going to feel uh whatever they want but that doesn't necessarily mean that like their uh feeling is like accurate with like, the actual reality of the situation like you could feel that you don't learn anything from it you could feel it's one way but um it doesn't mean that there necessarily was nothing to learn from it or that it was one specific way so i'm not sure what the uh answer is
but definitely know quite a lot of people have found huge amounts of improvement from these videos. Sometimes I read comments, I talk to people, etc., who have climbed like a lot of ranks, etc. It's my dobby there, man. Really? We can siege this tower here and then we'll on out. So this game is a uh, one here, folks. A lot of people probably looked at this game at the beginning and thought, oh, this is not looking good. Like, he is getting a lot of pressure down. And he definitely was getting a lot of pressure down on my top laner. I, I must say, like, I will admit, my top uh, kind of clutched up here. But also, I think that the way we played punished you for what he did top lane to the best of our ability, which also meant that, you know, when our top lane did clutch up, he was in a bit of a strap there. Next item, I think next item will go Wit's End and after Wit's End, I'm not even sure. I feel like the game would just be over by then, but Frozen Heart would also be nice. Probably, honestly, Frozen Heart's better before Wit's End. Yeah, huge. I just keep on going for that Nami there every time. Uh, I dodged everything I needed to dodge there, but I just wasn't able to get enough damage because he had flash. Anyway, folks, this looks like GG well played. If you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to catch more of this. And you uh, just definitely don't want to miss any of these episodes. would recommend chucking the notification bell on. And a lot of you folks have been asking about the one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can just book one-on-one -on -one coaching straight away off my site if you'd like to. And I would also recommend that there is uh, definitely a benefit to... Holy shit, that you did a lot of damage. It's definitely a benefit, part of me, to um, send me a DM on Discord first and we can kind of run through it a little bit. I can give you some advice and ask you some questions about what exactly you're trying to achieve. That way we can best work out coaching. But uh, if you're like dead certain that you'd like coaching, you know um, that coaching is going to be good for you, etc., then you can just book on the site and uh, send me a Discord DM, arrange a time. And yeah, goes from there. That's on coachmarga.com. Ah, <sighs> looks like we have to fight this game out a little bit longer. Um, change my mind and picking up the Frozen Heart here because I do think that the Frozen Heart will help out with this E. Just picked up the Jack Show also. We're both sitting on Jack Show here. Jack Show, in my opinion, it's a very, very good item still, even after the nerfs on patch 12.23b. Yeah, definitely um, some issues here with my bot lane. Like, I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know why my Ezreal is farming my jungle here either. I just don't know how he's uh, this week. Anyway, so we need to try and get this drag, in my opinion. And also, I think that we need to try and like play macro actually a little bit smart because there's a high chance, in my opinion, that you can ace us again. What? How is he shut down? Yeah, this is what I mean about there's a high chance that we could uh we could lose here. We've got to be very careful. What? He's actually chasing me down, swiping two levels down on me here. Anyway, Gwen's in their base, so I think that here there's like a little bit that we can do. Alright, excellent. We got the flash there, and Gwen did a huge amount. Would have been better if I could have stopped more of their recalls, but. Seems like it's a little bit hard to do. I don't know if I could have just altered straight on Yi, because um, I'm not quite sure how much damage he does, but I kind of feel like he does a lot. Yeah, we're in a really hard spot here, honestly. Because of how weak our um, these two players are. 
But Katarina is not so much weak. She's just like died there, questionable way. That uh, also definitely didn't help that situation. Okay. Let him jump away. Holy shit. Hey, okay, we should be able to end here. Why is our player leaving? Oh, he actually just wants to fist fight it? Katarina finally. Can she end it? Oh my days. I feel like Gwen, um, I don't know what she did. I think she must have gone and CS that. I think she was trying to last or something. I don't know. But she's probably gonna look for the sneak end here, I feel like. Uh, he's just gonna go collect waves apparently. And he's respawning though, so can't kill. What the fuck, bro? Major issues, folks. Major issues here. Dragon coming up in one minute. I feel like that's the play where we can end the game. Hopefully they like commit to coming to us and our Gwen can like end or something. I need more gold. What is this, bro? Jesus Christ. Shit. Ah, uh, guys, what is this? Okay. Okay.
I think I did it. My teammates got to fight the other side of the fight whilst you was on me. Let's fucking go. GG well played, folks. GG well played. What a hard game. Alright. Again, if you want coaching, check out coachmarket.com. If you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out, folks.